The hearing lasted only a matter of moments in what was an absolutely packed courtroom. It goes to show you how moved the community has been by this situation in a city that knows high profile incidents all too well. Martise Johnson said nothing, walking in while inside or leaving the courtroom. That's strategic by his attorney, David Watkins, who says cases aren't decided on the street, but in a court of law. Johnson did walk confidently among the throng of cameras surrounding him. As the state police continue to look into the circumstances of Johnson's bloody arrest, his defense is conducting their own independent investigation of that night. Each detail of what happened just prior to the now infamous video will be key. But already, multiple people close to the investigation have said the third year was not drunk that night. Yes, the, the events touched me very deeply. Then Daryl Jenkins says he witnessed the arrest and that Johnson is a close friend. Um, I, I felt helpless um, and that it, it, was, it was a terrible feeling. Thursday, the UVA community showed out big time. This is video of the crowd of people outside the courthouse, all here to voice their support of Johnson. And we just want him to know again that we, we have his back. So I think this is just another demonstration of how passionate and dedicated to this cause students are. Johnson's next hearing is scheduled for May 28th. There could be a trial that day or maybe not. It all depends on what the state police find during their investigation. Working for you in Charlottesville, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.